What's up, y'all? It's Dan and Shay, and our new song, Save Me the Trouble, is a classic country music tale about temptation. It's about knowing somebody's bad for you, knowing a situation is dangerous, but not being able to resist. And uh, I feel like we really leaned into that on the music of this song, on the production, on the arrangement, the composition, all the chords, all the, uh, the harmonies, all the layers, they feel dangerous as well. And we're so proud of this one, man. It's, uh, it's an exciting song to release, and every time I listen to Shay sing it, it blows my mind. Best singer <laughs> in the world right here. So excited about it. That's right. This is one of my favorite songs we've ever done. So go check it out on the iHeartRadio app and let us know what you think. So Save Me the Trouble was the very last song that we wrote for this album. And that's kind of how it always goes. You turn in the whole album, you think you're done, all the pressure's off, and then you get back in the writing room uh, when nobody's looking over your shoulder, expecting anything, and, uh, and that this song sort of poured out of us. That same thing happened with Speechless on our self-titled album, but we got in the room with a couple friends, Ashley Gorley, Jordan Reynolds, Jordan Minton, you know, some of our favorite people to write with, and uh, those guys are all over the rest of this album too, but yeah, just great friends of ours, and, and this song was just one of those ones that we had written that in our phones, Save Me the Trouble, it's just a phrase that people say in daily conversation all the time, and I think we sang that first melody going into that chorus and I was like, oh man, this is going to be like a big stunning vocal moment. Shay is the best singer in the world <laughs> and uh, when he gets on the mic it just like comes alive and uh, the song is a big vocal showcase, it's a really fun lyric and we just can't wait to start playing this one live. It's going to be a big moment with our fans and it's one of our favorites we've ever recorded, honestly. It's got a lot of a lot of fancy crazy chords in there and a lot of harmonies and it's just, it's a fun one. We're really proud of it and uh, so glad it's the first single on the album. I would have to say one of my favorite lyrics comes in the second verse, and it's probably mostly because I love singing the melody. <laughs> Just a little kiss and I can never get you out of my mind. I love that little part. It's such a unique, we always like to do something different with the second verse, but I feel like that one always stuck out to me and uh, just kind of gets you to that crazy part in the bridge. But I could pick probably every line in the song. Very proud of the song, but I'd have to say that's my favorite right now. Love it. So the first person that I played this song for, and I would assume it's the same for Shay, uh, is my wife Abby. We finished the demo, and it wasn't like fully hashed out yet, it was just like kind of a little work tape. Some vocals on there, some scratch vocals, and I sent her the demo. She was on vacation, she was sitting on the beach, and I was like, this is the one, we're freaking out. You know, we had like a whole album worth of songs that we thought could have been the first single from this album. and. Uh, something about this one came in at the last minute. I was like, I think this is a smash. I think it's the first single. It's gotta be it. And she hit me back and was like, this is it. This is one of my favorite songs you guys have ever done. We sent it to our manager, Lisa, and she went on record to say it's her favorite song that we've ever done. And she's heard all of them, the good <laughs> ones and the bad ones. And, uh, yeah, everyone that we sent this song to just really reacted in a big way. And most importantly, we were so proud of it. I mean, I think I listened to this more than I've ever listened to any other Dan and Shay demo. I, every time I listened to it, I remember standing in my bathroom, like getting ready to leave the house and I'd be playing the demo and like air guitar and like just imagining myself on stage singing that song in front of a big crowd. And it just kind of made my heart race every time I listened to it. And uh, yeah, man, it's, it's amazing that it's finally out in the world. The very first time we heard one of our songs on the radio, we were in Nashville, and our friend worked for the radio station at the time, and texted us, it was really early in the morning, and told us that our song 19 and Me was going to be playing on the radio station. Dan and I rushed out there, probably like half asleep, and I literally to this day still have busted out speakers because we turned it up so loud. Um, the feeling of hearing your song on the radio, it's, it's honestly, it's unmatched. Uh, we grew up listening to the radio, obviously like everyone else. And it's just, there's something magical about it. There's something just unattainable and incredibly magic about radio. And I've always dreamed about, dreamed about having our song on the radio. And now that we've had several of those, even with having number ones, it still never gets old. And I can't wait to hear this one on the radio. 